Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Two and a Half Acres. We're going to go live this time. I was going to make a um, tote video, so I was like, you know, it's nice. The wind's not crazy in Oklahoma right now. So um, let's just do two things in once. All right, so we got these totes. Let's see. Millie. Let's, let's look at Millie real quick and the goats. There's Miss Millie, Millie Moo. What y'all doing, guys? And ladies? Huh? Sean Smith in the house. How you doing, ma'am? When you get your subs up, that's what we need to work on. We got some people in here. Maybe we can do that. Been doing all right. All right. So, hopefully, get a couple, couple more people in here. All right. So here's a toast that I'm working on right here. Um, these are really easy. Dog house, goat, goat house, really anything, any kind of house, house. Um, <clears throat> good, good. Good deal. Let me walk back here and see. Let me check on the eggs real quick. Watch out, Miss Millie. Dear Creek Homestead, how you doing this evening? Hope y'all doing all right. What? What do y'all want? Some oats and stuff? All right, so here's these totes right here. Um, this is the one I made out of uh, a hay bin, I guess. Um, it's, it's really easy. These things are funny. Now you can get these uh, totes anywhere. Um, Craigslist, um, you, can, you can get them for free on there. I've seen them. Or you can um, pay anywhere from 25 bucks to, uh, I think I've seen like to 60, but they're different kind. I think this one's a 330, 330 gallon one. And they make a 220, which is um, this one right over here that we just looked at. But um, anyways, on on this it's, on this one, all we gotta do is, you gotta have two of these. Take the uh, toad out and uh, cut it in half. So what I did was, uh, I guess I should have showed y'all that first. We'll go back to that. But anyway, I took half of this out, and then, um, and I just used a, I just used a grinder on it. And uh, so half of that will be the corner. And I just folded it so it fit, you know, just just crunch it up, and then I, I cut the ends longer so. So if this is on the other one, I cut it right here just to make sure I have enough to bend over. And this will go this will go further down and actually match up. And then I'm just gonna throw some screws on each side. <clears throat> but this is not gonna go anywhere. But anyways, I cut this and I just bend them over with a uh, uh, crescent wrench. So, but there you go, that's it. And then down here, so the goats wouldn't get their head stuck, I cut this opening right here and then I grinded this these points down and up here so it wouldn't be sharp or you know the goats or anything won't won't get a uh, cut on it and I found out they can they can get through here and go in there but that's fine the main thing is we're, we want to keep the hay up top up here and uh and then the hay off the ground so uh It'll be a lot fresher for them. It'll be easy to kind of sweep out of there, but. All right, there's the hay. Hay one right there. All right, let's see. We got, we're gonna have a chicken cell for too long. We got too many. We are chicken poor right now. <laughs> there's that golden lace right there. All right, so, here, we'll go look at this other one. Now, on the, making a 
goat pen or goat uh, house, dog house, any one of those. Um, this is what I did on that part. Um, first of all, what you want to do, you want to just flip this over. Let me flip it over real quick. And then you want to put um, holes, <clears throat> excuse me, holes in the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you go. I put holes all in the bottom of it so for drainage because I'm sure they'll beep and poop in there and stuff like that. And water, some water will get in there. So, so I hit the, I hit the high point right here. That's going to be on bottom. So that's where it's going to leak. And I put extra ones in here. All, all of them on the side for sure. And then, all right, y'all watch out. And then I kind of just measured uh, on the sides right here and see how, see how tall those goats are. But um, what I'm gonna do, if I can flip this up. Um, I'm gonna get some L brackets and just put them on top of here and the back side. So this, this flap will stay open. I might cut a little bit of this off, um, but I wanna keep it on here so it'll make a good um, little runoff right there. Why does this chicken keep biting, picking on my boot? What are you doing? I guess she sees that little bit of pain. <laughs> you silly. Bucky, what are you doing? Okay. Um, the goats and everybody's doing okay. It looks like the babies are not, um, or their, our females are still not pregnant but the one the newest one we got for the wife if you watch that video um daisy is her name <coughs> named her daisy she got blue eyes but uh she looks pretty big she's pretty big on the i believe it's the right side it looks bigger than they're pregnant so she's she's looking like she's looking good so hope we get some out of there here is a little one right here. <clears throat> Marble. She escapes everything, which is crazy. What are you doing, Marble? <laughs> All right, she, <clears throat> she even got her head stuck in this. This is like a four by four. I'm like, how do you even get your head in there? That's crazy. But on these cattle panels, she can actually get out. This one always gets under my feet, this chicken. Hey, Millie's. Hey, Millie. <laughs> All right. So that's that one right there, the hay feeder. Um, I did this side too, cut this side out so they can get their head in there. I'm thinking about making it a little bit wider in here since they got further to get the hay in there. But what are you doing? This is a chicken that uh, my daughter saved. She was hurt. And they put her in the ho chicken hospital. And uh, ever since then, <clears throat> she's wants to be held and stuff. It's, she's civil. Hey, watch out. <laughs> watch out. Hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. Nobody's on here yet, but when you watch it, just drop off one of the kids at church. They don't want to have softball practice. Bryden's over here hiding. Where's he at? There he is. Say hi, Bryden. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's the other one right here that I made the, the goat house out of. You can make dog house or whatever. But this time I left this, uh, the middle on there and it actually works out better, but I knew I needed two of these to make the hay feeder. So that's what happened to that. Um, so anyway, this one, I just measured right above this and actually, you know, stays open like that. So, uh, that fixes itself. You don't have to buy the old angle iron or nothing like that. Um, but I think I'm about cutting some of this off for sure just so they don't poke their eyes or nothing on there. If I cut it just a little bit up there, the, the rain will run off. 
but it's pretty good size in there. Um, put hay in here, It'd be pretty nice and cozy. And whenever you do buy these, too, you want to make sure they're not um, that they're hard, hard plastic. Um, I have one at work, and the thing's been out in the sun forever. It's just you can you can hit it like that, and it starts crumbling and cracking. So watch out for that whenever you buy these. Make sure they're not sitting outside forever in two days. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, so, all right, here's this end. So if you're gonna build a hay, um, hay bin like that one, you're gonna need two of these. That's why I have uh, that little house over there and that one right there. But here's this right here. I just kind of measured, you know, where you wanna cut. Like I said, around the sides, to give you a little bit extra room. Because you can always take off, you can't put back on. So always cut a little bit more once you need to. And then I just start cutting it. I had a uh, a grinder, that's what I used. Now you can probably use something else. This stuff is really, you might can use, well, maybe not. I was thinking of a bolt cutter, but hey, it might work. I don't know. It depends what you got at your house. Hey, how you doing? All right, so what I did is just cut this on the bottom right here, and that's that's what I bent to put down inside there, inside the bin, and uh, that works pretty well. Now we just need to fill it up with some hay. Brownie, what are you doing, man? Uh, Very good, Christopher. How you doing, man? You doing all right? It's nice out. I don't know where you where you where you located at. We're in Oklahoma and it's finally, I try to do more lives, um, but if it's windy, there's no way, there's no way to hear me for sure. Good, good. Glad you're doing all right. Close this gate real quick. Most of the time it's always windy here in Oklahoma, so. All right, come on girls. Bucky, what are you doing? This one's still kind of shy. But Mocha. Mocha loves it. I think this one's Mocha. <laughs> no, this one's this one's Cookie. That one's Mocha. Right, Braden? <laughs> either, either one of them is. But I know this one. She's really... She likes to be petted and stuff. The other ones really don't. So we're still trying to get used to them. Or they're trying to get used to us. It's going to be good when we, uh, when they have babies. Or we're going to, I think we're going to try to, try to milk too. Right. Let's see, flossing it up. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, tonight, um, today was 75, I believe, but tomorrow's a high supposed to be uh, 55 or something like that. Somebody said 40, but I looked it up a while ago. It's going to be mid 50s, so. And it's supposed to rain 90% today, tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all week, so. We kind of need the, we need the rain, though. But I don't want the cold. I do not want the cold. Here's a little A-frame I built, a uh, chicken tractor. It's really easy. There's a there's a video I have on making this. This part needs some more paint, but it, it works really good. We got our favorites in there. Is that the rooster in there? I guess it is. But if, if you want to check out how to build that, it's really, I got a video on it. Just look up tr Chicken Tractor and uh, you can find it on there. I hear that dove. It is nice out here though. <laughs> Anybody need some chickens? We need to have a giveaway of chickens, I think. <laughs> Be nice, crazy. 
They always think we got food. They park them up here. All right. All right, these, goodness. All right, these I'm going to, um, I think I'm gonna make an end table out of one of these, the smaller ones, stain them, and maybe a table out of this one. Um, I got these off of Craigslist too for free. And you know, that's where I get half my stuff. When you're homesteader, you know, that's where you get <laughs> most of your stuff to build is what do you have at the house? And that's what you're gonna build from. But anyways, uh, this would be a nice table or, what was that? Or I was thinking about cutting a, a little bench in here and then putting a little L-shaped block back here so it can't roll too far back and you can, you can make a rocker out of that. A redneck rocker, rocking chair, baby. I don't know if y'all seen that, it's pretty cool. That's for sure right there. I get so much stuff from Craigslist most of the time. I'm... Actually, I got these wooden chairs I need to sand down. I got four of them. Um, I see a sand them down and that should be pretty, it actually work pretty good. I think one just has a back out like this side, but that's another that's another project that I don't have time right now on. What are you doing? A little mohawk. This is a pretty rooster. This this was a uh, a chick that hatched out this year, and he's gonna be purdy. And if you see on the cheeks right here, where it's kind of puffed out, that's a americana. So if you know anything about those. The hens will lay like a bluish green egg. Um, <laughs> that's what that's what those Americana or Easter egg as they call it. All right, this is the this is the chicken um, hospital. When they get hurt, they throw them in there. Which that's where this one was. See on the back right there. This one like this one loves it all. Lily in the house. How are you doing today, this afternoon? Hope y'all got good weather like we, we do right here. It's really nice in Oklahoma. And then it's supposed to get cold tomorrow. Probably with a 40 miles per hour wind or something. Always something. Those things are fighting over there. So I think it's time to Put an add-on or something. Get some of these roosters just got to go. Let's see if we got any eggs in here while we're here. I don't know if the kids been getting them or what. North Carolina. Yeah, and I'm one of those guys that uh, you gotta have a permit for a chicken. Man, that is just, that just ain't right. <laughs> I know in some uh, some of the cities, like in Oklahoma City here, uh, you can have up to five hens. You can't have roosters or nothing. Maybe it's four hens. We can't have roosters, but um, yeah, that's kind of crazy. But it, I mean, that permit depends how much it is, but it'll probably pay for itself, you know, with the free eggs and stuff you get. Shit <laughs> like that. But look at all these suckers, and most of all these that we hashed out. So. Um, last time I just put a thing on Craigslist and we sold like 10 of our roosters. Um, and that helped out a lot, at least the noise. Bucky, be nice. Well, let me go get some grain. Um, trying to find a place to prop this thing up with. I'll go get some grain and then we'll feed these. Actually, I won't prop it up. I'll just, I'll just roll up in there. How does that happen? We had a, um, close to the house, somebody seen a big cat. I was thinking it was a, uh, a bobcat, but then they showed a picture that was a mountain lion. And I'm like, I still don't believe that. Give me this. So, chicken got her in my foot again. And all the goats are coming in. Oh, 
Okay, come on, let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, let's go. That'll help with that tongue closing. I got some alfalfa for them. That'd be good for the babies too, when they're growing inside their mama. Man, these things are crazy. Okay. They always think they gotta go in there with me. I can't even walk. <laughs> I can't walk. Uh-oh, Millie's seen me. She's gonna get happy. I don't got another Millie. <laughs> she is crazy. Let's flip this around. Hey, y'all. All right. I can't walk. I'm Batman. I was trying to see if we can... Millie? Millie? Okay, I'm trying to walk, guys, but it's, like, impossible. Oh! Okay, let me flip you around, because that's not working. Okay, let's go, Millie. Come on, guys. Let's go, Millies. Come on. Let's go. The goats always get up there because that's where we feed them. And <laughs> Millie gets in my way. She thinks she's a big old puppy. Oh! She, she brushes up against me. <laughs> Come on, Millie. Wrong way. Go, let's get up there. All right, here we go. That helps out a lot. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> Anything that spills, the chickens always come over here and cleans it up. Here you go. Here you go. So we put a little bit up here. Man, we need to strap on a a uh, GoPro. Actually, I guess I need to get one first. I got one of those little Chinese ones. I don't know if that'll work, but maybe it will. But yeah, see what they do? That'll be pretty cool. Here you go. Get off of there. That ain't yours. Here, Daisy. Daisy. They're just like the chickens. Wherever you put the last feed, that's where they're going to go. Hey, y'all are supposed to get down. This is for the goats. I got your own stuff. <laughs> it's a crazy madhouse. Yes. Um, we were going to go this last weekend because it was youth, youth hunt, but I, I got to get some uh, ring rings for the uh, scope and sight it in first. Oh, geez. You're done. Okay. Come on. Let's go back in there. Oh, gosh. Come on. I always leave a little bit more. So when she's done, just a second. She's like crazy. Okay, there you go. It's like crack or something, I guess. All right, let me shut this gate because just so she doesn't try to kill me. Knock me down, I'm old. <laughs> Yeah, but um, when we have time when we don't have softball and stuff, and we actually can plan it. We go uh, uh, dove hunting, and we went deer hunting once. And I want to do that again this year, but um, that just didn't happen. There's too much stuff going on. Too much stuff. I don't got nothing. Let's see. Let's check on the... Uh oh, where's the other one? Oh, there it is. The goldfish still good doing good. It's the best thing ever. No algae. No algae this summer. Because these 10 cents goldfish at Walmart. So that's what you need. If you have algae problems, your tubs, just get, get a couple of them, you're good. You're golden. Man, these chickens are crazy. You would think, too, that we'll have a bang load of eggs, but... They don't think the kids get them. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, they just kind of go to waste. We used to give them out to the neighbors and then uh, the guys at work, they bring me some cartons. And at church, they bring me some cartons and we just give them away for free. We don't, we don't charge nothing. Here's Mr. Bucky. I don't know. If, I don't know if he knows what he's doing yet. Do you? Do you? Daisy, with your pretty eyes. That's your only goat with the blue eyes. All right. Oh, we missed the sunset. I bet you that was all lit up a while ago but we missed it but that's, that's okay that's all right we got the bluebirds coming back in um i love purple martin's houses that one right there um all of them are gone you know around july they go back to south america but our bluebirds are coming back so um let me check out these gourds over here I, I, Planted some gourds, and that's what we got out of them. Two of them. Actually, three, four, five, about six, actually. Here's one right here. They've been checking those out for the winter. I painted that, but obviously, I need a different kind of paint um, on those gourds. So, what else is going on? Anybody got any new additions to the to your place or any questions or anything? I'm gonna check these. Here's the window I cut out. And uh, I have holes in here on the top and stuff. Put a board over that. And uh, they're gonna in the winter time. Really? Okay. Okay. See what I mean? You see this? <laughs> oh, yeah. See, we're kind of... We're not too far from the city, I guess. Um, so there's a lot of people that... Actually, probably people would buy it, but I just don't want... I guess I don't want the responsibility. <laughs> if something happens or something, you know, I don't know. But... Yeah, we're gonna have to clean these out. So like on Saturday morning when we wanna have a fresh egg, come out, snatch some of them up, and get them. All right, so here's the tote. I don't know if you've seen it. I guess you can just rewind it when, when this is done. And uh, so I just don't repeat myself. Uh, what was it about hunting or what? Was that was that yours? Slap it down there again. Maybe it'll come back up. <laughs> Daisy, come on. What was what was your comment on there? these things off now yeah our internet is slow motion too we gotta send up smoke signals to tell them too that it's uh not working right it's too slow there goes marble somebody's fighting over here let me see what's going on <laughs> what are they doing Watch out. See if I can help you. I think the rooster's in here. They don't like it. What are y'all doing? Hey. You better be leaving my brownie alone, big boy. Hey. You okay? Don't be messing with my brownie. Her, her name's Brownie. Most of the time we just have brownie and this one in there. The uh, 
Uh, Buff Orpington. Oh, nice. Yeah, that work. That's a good idea too. I've seen people too that uh, and um, they put on uh, they put them together. I guess they've used bolts or whatever, and uh, they made a deer blind out of them. They stacked them on top of each other and made a deer blind, which is there's a there's a whole bunch of stuff. And if you want to do that, all that aquatic stuff. <laughs> you can do that too but if you haven't seen it here's here's the uh hay bin i made out of two um two of these that works pretty good or at least fit put together good i guess because i haven't used it yet and i just cut this out on each side so they can stick their head in there but it works good it works good and here's this other one I'm, car I'm carrying around this bucket, so this lady thinks we got some food. <laughs> I'll show you this real quick, Lily. Watch out. Watch out. Okay. Beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Here's one of my... Uh, bluebird houses that we got it's probably time to probably next year i'm gonna have to ri get rid of that for sure all right so here's the other one the other one's over there it's like a 330 gallon oh yeah that'll work yeah i was thinking about that like if you wanted to um just take this out and then have um if you're gonna bring goats or whatever heck you can make your own little cage out of these pretty easy you just need some kind of wire mesh though around it but yeah that work oh and i've seen somebody make it like this um and then have uh i think it's on arms family homestead and then have uh just gates out here and they had other uh, goats or he has sheep um so when they have their babies but that, that's what we're doing we're having a gonna have their own little place it's not going to be out here. One's going to be in the chicken coop over there. Then one's going to be over here uh, in this in this uh, area, padded area. And for too long, we're going to have to fill these up so we can get our, our birds back. It's going to get cold coming up. <laughs> it's time to start. Chickens are starting to roost up in that tree. I don't know if you can see him or not. Yeah, you can see him a little bit moving. Yeah, that's good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So I finally finished this area right here. I uh, blocked that off. And um, I took three panels of 16 foot by four foot. But anyway, I finally got saved some money to get get that done so so this is one area where the um one of the goats is going to be i think i'll put this on this side just so it blocks some of the wind too from that north wind oh and i need to get them in here because this right here looked like that all in there so they got, they got that mowed down pretty good but i'm just going to have the goats in here only because we have a storm shelter uh right there and I don't want uh, I don't want Millie, the you know the calf on that our door. It might it might crumple or something. <laughs> All right, here's these gourds too that I made. I didn't paint these. I just left them. So we'll kind of see. I kind of I really need to put kind of like a little roof on the top of that just so water won't get in there. I think that'll I think that'll work better. I was hoping that sun will peek out just a little bit and it'll light this whole whole thing up. It'll be a big old highlighter. I don't know if that's gonna happen. We will see. We will see. I got some scrap stuff from the fence. I gotta pick up a bunch of stuff to pick up. Oh, I got that chimenea. Is that what it's called? Chimenea? Chimney, whatever it's called. Got that from Craigslist for free too. 
That'd be nice. I've seen somebody had one of those on their front porch and their, their hen started laying in it. Yeah, it is getting dark. Probably getting, probably really getting dark on the, on the film. Mockingbird's out. Okay, well, I was hoping that sun will come out. Just peak, that's all we need. It's a little peak. I don't know what's gonna happen. But, hey, thanks for watching. You have a blessed day. Boy, get off of here because it's getting dark. And uh, have a great evening and then a, a very great weekend. It's all, we're almost there. Two more days. Come on. <laughs> all right. Y'all have a lovely day. Bye.